What is going on ladies and gentlemen? We are back again with another Pedro and Chantel video. But this one right here is a simple breakdown of everything that happened or at least of some of the things that's happened over the last couple of years that has been showing the signs to the divorce. In fact, some of the signs, to be honest, if you say, why didn't the divorce come any sooner? And that is something that we can definitely answer in this video. But the reason why we're here is simply because your boy received a DM politely saying, hey, hello, I have a question. Can you do a video showing the breakdown of Pedro and Chantel divorce? And of course, as you can see, there were so many other pointers here that were pointing out that I was asked to investigate. Now, I'll be honest with you, at the very, at the very same time though, whilst there's so many pointers here that I was asked to investigate, I was able to uncover some of them, but also I was also, I was also able to uncover newer things as well. But before we get into it, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel, every single person that is a member of Patreon, and every single person that is a subscriber. Now here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. As far as I'm concerned, the post or the message that I got itself in particular was definitely to for me to find out about Pedro's family being scammers, them wanting to use Pedro, them at least needing Pedro to marry a woman from the States. So therefore, once he gets his green card, he's able to bring them to the States too. And that is something that was definitely spoken about throughout the years. And that's something that I will show you throughout this video. But at the same time though, whilst I was going through some of these videos, it then hit me. There was a war going on that I don't think everybody was actually aware of. There was the war where Family, uh, where, where Chantel's family fully believed that Pedro was using Chantel purely for the green card so he can get his family to the States. And also on top of that, Carol said this numerous times, also for financial benefit because marrying an American can get you in some sort of financial benefit in terms of the, the currency from, from what I understand. But here's the thing though, whilst there was this argument or this conversation of where Pedro was using Chantel, there was also this interesting aspect that I, that I came across. And the interesting thing I came across was it felt as if Chantel was actually trying to take Pedro away from his family completely because some of her actions were quite interesting based on her always talking about how I'm trying to bring our families together. But then the way she would always go, go about it were always ways where it would guarantee carnage. And that is something that we're also going to uncover throughout this video. So ladies and gentlemen, sit back, get a drink, get some food, healthy food, whatever you're doing and enjoy the rest of the show because i have no idea how long this video is going to be but uh let's get into the first point i still have visions of pedro slinging that girl all over the dance floor Looks like it now this is someone that i was definitely told to look into and this is obviously nicole's friend nicole's friend that also had a very highly a friend that fancied and definitely wanted pedro and of course in the clip that you saw pedro was getting on his little funk funk with uh, Nicole's friend whilst he was in a relationship with Chantel. But here's the thing though, Chantel has this habit of where she can't keep certain things to herself and she always has to tell the family. And because of that, this is what came next. Chantel told us you danced around with the ladies, picking them up, swinging them around in a very sexual way. Well, my main thing the is- The first, all of this is not a problem about your family. You tell your family everything you're going to do. So you want to be like this every time. You see, this is something that has to be spoken about, something that has to be identified. And this is something that Pedro was stressing about for so many years that each time something happens, you always have to go and tell your family. We can never just have a conversation with ourselves to just solve the situation. And even if we do, you're always gonna tell your family. And to be fair, if you're looking at the most current season, we now know that their relationship when it comes to communication, it is now completely kaput. Because at the end of the day, while Chantel was seeking Pedro to be more, uh, to, to be more open and be, you know, and, and, and be less secretive and have more conversations with her. Well, here's the thing though. How can you have conversations with someone that always runs to mommy and daddy and tells them what's happening in their relationship, knowing that mommy is always going to then go the extreme. And also in this scene, something that you didn't see is that Karen actually arrives with a taser in hand as well. Something that is not acceptable in any kind of way. But here's the thing though, ladies and gentlemen, there's more. My daughter tells me that you and she are not, no es feliz El, in baby, the casa. Baby, why you telling the problem we have in the apartment with my sister? I feel like I better say I'm very angry at the same time because you know what you finally think about me. Here's the thing. We know that Pedro feels, there's always been, there's always been this conversation of how Chantel comes from a certain lifestyle 
but it comes from a complete opposite lifestyle. Chantel comes from a lifestyle of, well, presented as more wealthy, whilst Peter comes from a lifestyle where it's less wealthy. Chantel comes from a family where the family's got everything together. Mum's there, dad's there, sister's there, brother's there. Meanwhile, Peter comes from a situation where there's no dad necessarily. Mum's there, sister's there, but there's also the pressure on himself to be the man, to be the provider, which is why there's always been the conspiracy of him coming to the States so he can get his mum and his sister to the States for that financial benefit, which is something that he's been called out for numerous times. And that is something that we're definitely going to speak about moving forward. But before we do that, let me show you one more extra clip here that is basically going to define the point that I'm that I'm getting at when it comes to my own thoughts of how Chantel, in my opinion, was doing whatever she could to take him away from his family. So therefore, she could have him all to herself purely because she's not a fan of his family. But here's the problem though. Meanwhile, while Chantel's not a fan, a fan of, of, of Pedro's family, what she wasn't realizing is that she was then making her own husband an enemy to her own family because of the bickering, because of going and telling mommy X, Y, Z, knowing that mommy's always going to act out like a little brat because mom is a brat. It's so insane. Nicole is definitely lying, but all I'm trying to do is bring our families together. Junior. L let's talk about this famous line. This is a line that we hear time and time again from Chantel. All I'm trying to do is to bring our families together. And she always says that line after she has caused damage. After she has either gone and snitched on Pedro, or she snitched on Nicole, or she snitched on someone. But here's the thing though, how can you bring your families together if you're gonna turn up at a dinner table and then tell your mum before Nicole's arrived that Nicole was being rude to me. And then when Nicole gets there, Nicole's trying to be cordial, even though she's been fake, she's trying to be cordial. But you've already set the fire. And what happens? Mum asking the questions. And then you're, you're then calling Nicole a liar, which of course she was. But was the conversation needed? Was the scenario needed? No. But then she's like, all I'm trying to do is bring her families together. If you ask me, I think it's always been, or it has been for a while, Chantel's mission to make Pedro feel like as if his family ain't nothing and that he'd be better off without them. And don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen, this is something that is done. There's a lot of people out here who generally try and steal their partners from their families. Tell me I'm lying, because I can promise you now that is something that generally happens. And I do feel like that was one of the other problems within this whole dynamic. We've got a situation where Chantel's trying to take Pedro from his family. But at the same time, Pedro is also trying to bring his family to the States because clearly there was some sort of tr truth or some sort of uh, conversation had prior to him obviously being in, involved with Chantel. And to be fair, in the text itself in particular there that, that I received, somebody said it is quite interesting how prior to season four, we go for a period where Pedro isn't talking to his sister. He isn't talking to his mom. But then boom, all of a sudden he now has his green card and he now has his real, real estate, which relates to that currency, which we're gonna get to in a second. And now all of a sudden he's back to speaking to his mom again and his sister again. So many things to uncover on how you wanna look at it. The matter of fact is whether or not Pedro is a scammer, it doesn't change the fact that Chantel was also trying to remove, was also trying to pull him away from his own family. And that is something else we're going to discover in a second. So let's continue. His family, they were like trying to get Pedro and Chantel together to get him papers. So why are they trying to break us up now? Being married is not a thing that you can pull on and pull off like your pants. We so now we're brought to this conversation of Chantel's friends coming in and saying that, listen, I'm telling you right now, from an inside source or from a source, the plan is legit to use you. The plan is to use you. But of course, there is the good question though. So why are they trying to break us up now? I don't know if it was ever a case of them trying to break things up per se, or if it's just a case of just egos. But I think sometimes when you've got a situation where you've got two women on one side and two women on another side, you've got a mom on one side and mother on another one on another side, then you've got a daughter on one side and a daughter on another side. I don't think at that point it's about trying to break people up. I think it's a matter of just egos. It's a matter of the fact that, I mean, look, look at it this way. As you watch this screen right here, if we just completely, if we just remove the dad out of the picture for a second, okay? Even remove Pedro out of the picture as well. Actually, no, no, let's keep Pedro there. We're looking at mama, mama, okay? Parallel to each other. Daughter, daughter, parallel to each other. And also on top of that, to be honest with you, I think if we're looking at daughters as well, like in terms of the, 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 the dress code, that, 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 that's quite suspect to be fair with you. But a lot of people have always felt as if uh, Nicole over the years has grown to take the Chantel style. 
But the matter of the fact is, though, you've got Pedro in the middle. At this moment in time, Pedro, you know, arguably, we're talking about how they need his, they, the, his family need him to get the green card. But at the same time, though, they need him to leave the family behind. So sometimes when it comes to women, and correct me if I'm wrong, but women, let me know this, and I'm pretty sure you agree. Sometimes with women, sometimes egos get the best of use, and sometimes emotions come in place. There is a fine line between logic and emotional. Logic is something that men are generally better at. Emotions is something that women are better at. So at the end of the day, I do believe that whenever there was competitions, the competitions were always based on emotion getting the best of the ladies. And that is why we've had so many disputes with the ladies over the seasons that have just been unnecessary with drinks being thrown, arms being launched. I mean, don't get me wrong, we've had our fair, sh our fair share of um, River and, and Pedro as well, having their physicalities, but the women, oh boy, they've always been going, going at it because sometimes when the emotion gets the best of you, the emotion definitely gets the best of you. And you never know, maybe these times when they're acting out, it could have been that time of the month. You never know. But nonetheless, though, for me personally, I don't think the question of, so why are they trying to break us up now then? Why is that a thing? I don't think it was ever this, the situation. I just think it was emotion sometimes getting the best because at the end of the day, if you've got two Karens on both teams, two Karens on both teams is never really going to be a good mix anyway. One of them is always going to lose the call and then the other one's going to lose the call, if you know what I mean. But anyway, now we've got that out of the way, let's continue. Information to bring my mom and my sister okay. to live in the United States. Permanently live here. Permanently live over here. Why the hell? And then now we get to the point where Pedro's having meetings here's the thing though before i say anything more let's go to the counseling meeting that happens where pedro finally reveals his plans and how chantelle reacts and the way chantelle reacts huh, is definitely going to prove more of a point of her intentions with pedro she will defend me anytime i love you so much but you tell your family everything will happen in my life i feel like nobody's my side and that i need, I need to have something can take my back you know okay now, in this meeting here, it was very crucial for Pedro to mention that I have no one on my side when I'm here. And whenever something goes wrong or goes it's up, you're always going to go and tell your family and you're never going to have a back. The only issue is, though, is that in this line, <laughs> he's the same, though. Whenever there's been an issue with his family and Chantel, he's never had Chantel's back. So to be honest with you, in that situation in particular, this is where they're both at fault, but not understanding of not of not understanding or knowing how to have each other's back the end of the day before you get into a relationship let alone a marriage you should learn or you should know to have your partner's back at any means necessary there's times obviously when not to but there's most of the time you need to but nonetheless though let's get into the into the nitty gritty of what goes down in this scene here and that's why i want to bring my mom and my sister living with me in the united states that's crazy pedro i'm so so furious for Pedro to drop that bombshell in family counseling feels like such a betrayal. First and foremost, this here I'm going to say is a language barrier. But when he said, I want to bring my family to in the United States to live with me. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I think you're going to say with us, but all right, cool. Learning language barrier. But it's Chantel's reaction. That is the pinnacle. The pinnacle of it all. You're upset. I mean, I get it. He didn't tell you this beforehand. He's told you this or he told you in front of everyone pretty much. I understand how obviously irate that can be, but her reaction, if you ask me, it's not a reaction of someone that is annoyed that he wants to bring his family over and she hasn't told him. It's more a reaction of, you're not going to bring your family around here, over here. Why? We don't want them here. Because at the end of the day, when your family's here, I don't get along with them. My family doesn't get along with them. So what benefit is they're going to be? And this is where the naiveness comes out because at the end of the day, every person in this world who has a fa who, who's close to the family is always going to want their family around them. But the matter of fact is, though, as far as I'm concerned, like I said before, the narrative that I found with Chantel is that she's always had the plan to remove the family completely out of the picture. I mean, I'm wrong. But um, let's continue. We've known for a long time that Pedro has had ulterior motives for marrying Chantel. But now we know that it's all true. You've you know... Just to add on to it, for the longest time possible, Karen's always made the narrative where she feels and has always felt as if Pedro isn't there because he's generally in love with Chantel. That Pedro is there purely because he has ulterior motivations. And then I sit there and I say to myself, I wonder if Chantel felt like removing him from his family would have been the perfect way to shut up her mum 
to say that listen he's with me now it's only us so there's no way he could be using me for a green card because his family is now out of the wind because at the end of the day as long as his family was there it was always going to bring up that question of are we being used and i think obviously chantel always always had the, always had a feeling um deep down but of course because of her love for her or her desperation for her she never really wanted to face that potential but at the end of the day though we've got so many dynamics within the relationship or we've had so many dynamics within the relationship we've had the dynamic of where chantel in my opinion has been on a mission to erase his family karen on the other hand she's been on a mission to expose his intentions then we've had the, the, the then, then, then we've had the situation with where pedro has always been secretive to a certain degree where we don't really know what he's really here for but then also at the same time we've also had the feeling of where pedro's mom has always given the impression here and there that she just wants her son to get into the states for a better life and we've also had the impression that when it comes to his sister as well she's also wanted to come to the states and live that live a love live a local life too especially within her transformation over the years with her fashion her attitude so many different dynamics within the family is actually quite jarring it's actually quite tiring i sit and i, I sit and i say to myself how did you stay in this relationship for so long but let's talk about pedro's real estate we know pedro's been in the u.s now for what five years five years or more maybe right no, no, I think about five years, but they've been together for slightly more than that, of course. Now, of course, upon doing research, based on the question that was asked by the person who messaged me, they did say, you know, why is it taking five years to get the real estate? So I did some research to find out how long, how quick does it take you or how long does it take you to get a real estate license? And it says, Google, Google says, so don't tell me, if I'm, I'm not wrong, Google says that in the USA, it takes up to around about four to six months to get a real estate license. Different um, states can be a bit longer based on others, based on whatever it could be. But that's how it takes roughly. And at the end of the day, we know he's had his visa for, for a while now. And we know he's had jobs before that. Now, if we go back to Karen's, Karen's always felt like as if there's always been some, some sort of financial gain that Pedro's looking for. Financial gain that, 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 that he's been looking for to provide for his family. Now, look at it this way. It is quite interesting how Pedro decides to finally leave Chantel at a time when he's finally got his real estate license, which where he got the idea from is very interesting. A lot of people will say that the idea either came from himself or the idea maybe came from his mother because she is the one that a lot of people believe is the brains behind the whole shebang. If there's an operation, they believe that she is the one behind it. Okay, so look at it this way. He now gets into real estate, something that he can do. All of a sudden, the money is now picking up, and we've seen that the money is picking up quite a lot. All of a sudden, now he's got situated and comfortable within that job, and the line when the money is coming in, Pedro's attitude then increases. He went from being challenging anyway to then eventually pushing out Chantel more and more and more. And then the more he pushed her out, boom, bam, what happens? He now wants to separate. So really and truly we can never really know if pedro's intentions were really to just use chantel and if his mom was behind the plan and we'll never really know if chantel's intentions was to completely remove his family out of the picture just so she can have him to himself and not have to worry about the headaches and we'll never really know if well we'll never really know many things i shall i say but i think with all the evidence that we have at hand it's very clear to say that there was definitely motivations from different angles but we'll keep it simple Chantel's motivation was I want him all to myself I don't want the headache of his sister I don't want the headache of his mum because I don't like them his motive we can say was to meet someone who was from the states so he can bring his family over with his mum being the mastermind but hey based on everything that I have presented to you here ladies and gentlemen let me know what you're thinking in the comment section what do you think the motivation really was this whole time when it came to their relationship between both of them and even the other characters involved the mum the mums let me know and i believe that is everything that i have to say for today by the end of the day hold that thought yes the last one the last one's an interesting one we know that alejandro nicole's partner he lives in new york but how comes he's never been able to get them dates? And we know that when it comes to Alejandro and Nicole, their relationship is on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. 
Now Pedro is able to get the family to the States. Does that mean that the relationship between Pedro, between Alejandro and Nicole will no longer be on and off anymore? It will now just be off because the ticket has now been booked. Food for thought. But let me know and we'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and peace.